what happened in the last year and a half or whatever, we felt as a group that we needed to put a, a public image on the Irish Inter Jockeys. Um, you know, we have other funds in place, but when you go about fundraising and, and organising things, you need one umbrella group. So um, hopefully we put that in place and uh, hopefully going forward we can help the, the, the funds and trusts that are in place and uh, raise the profile of the Irish Inter Jockeys and raise plenty of more money for them. I'm sure nobody's forgotten that fantastic day at Limerick around about this time last year when everyone turned out in force for John Thomas and, and John Joe Bright but I think the idea of this is just to ensure that days like that aren't necessary in the future isn't it? That's the whole reason um, you know, unfortunately last year there had to be a, an almost new drug reaction to raise funds for, for John Thomas and John Joe but you know, we do realise that it's an inevitability that someone else in time will, end, will, will, will be in a similar situation and that we want to have the funds in place rather than having to run around um, looking for it. So, um, you know, going forward, we hope to be able to raise enough and, and put the monies in place and um, have the right structures. I presume it was a pretty easy decision for you to make when you were, uh, when you were asked to be chairman when you sent it out about it. Yeah, I think there was four of us there, and um, Andy Mack ended up secretary, I ended up chairman, and the other two ducked. Um, but look, um, you know, there's obviously a fair bit more involved than I might have thought originally, but, um, you know, it's something we feel strongly about and um, something we want to do. Yeah, and today's all about getting the message out there, isn't it? Just making people aware of this new organisation. I think the, the name that's been chosen, Irish Injured Jockeys, is just to ensure there's no confusion with the British well, equivalent. Most it? definitely. I mean, the IGF in the UK is an unbelievable charity and organisation in the way it's run, and I don't think we'll ever be quite that big or that strong, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a role model for everybody, and they do tremendous work, and they've helped our guys um, immensely in the past, and, um, you know, we hope to be able to work with them, so... Um, monies are spent in the, in the most efficient way. Well, and Ruby, if you'd like.